Hey Aries, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. Okay, what's going on with you this week? Welcome back, you guys. Missed you guys. Okay, Aries, what's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What's going on with Aries this week? We have the Seven of Swords, okay? We have the Page of Wands. <laughs> Who is sneaking around? <laughs> this is like a secret flirtation going on. Ace of Swords, okay. You may get some news this week, like someone may tell you something. It may be a bit of gossip uh, for some of you. It could come from a Queen of Cups, a water sign energy around you. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like someone like wants to tell you a secret. That's kind of what it feels with the Seven of Swords energy, with the Page of Wands. Like someone has something to tell you. What is this about? Seven of Swords. The Death card. It could be involving a Scorpio for some of you. Mm -hmm. Judgment is here. Scorpio's energy coming through strong. And then the Ace of Wands. This could be like a dirty little secret like you find out that someone still has the hots for you or someone still wants to connect connect with you sexually page of pentacles it could be an earth sign for some of you the hanging man piscean energy hmm. and eight of pentacles someone got held up here they could have been held up with work or not able to talk to you because of work issues or work situation. Something could have been in inappropriate to address at a certain time and this person had to wait to tell you this. Wow. I feel like for some of you, maybe you were busy with work and this person just hasn't been able to get a hold of you or tell you how they've been feeling. Yeah, it feels very like uh under the surface page of wands show me for aries the hermit is here it could be a virgo for some of you king of wands your energy is here and the high priestess piscean energy i feel like someone has had secret feelings and it's like bubbling to the surface like someone is definitely super attracted to you show me this person's energy could be a Taurus for some of you. Harfont is here. Ten of Cups. This could be a person who, um, who you know through family for some of you. This could be <laughs> like a friend of the family for some of you. Um, for others of you, this could be a person that is, I feel like, in a high position on their job. We do have the Harfont and the High Priestess, which is always the High Priest and High Priestess. You could have a very spiritual connection with this person or they could feel very spiritually drawn to you uh, when you have those two big spiritual energies coming through with the Ten of Cups. Like they're feeling like the two of you should be together with the energy of the Ten of Cups, High Priest, High Priest, High Priestess. Ooh. Also very heavily drawn to you sexually as well. King of Swords, it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini for some of you. Could be any sign, honestly. But someone is feeling like, almost like God brought us together or God put you on this person's path is how this person is thinking or feeling. Wow. Emperor. <laughs> your energy Aries or this person is seeing you as an emperor in their life making you an emperor or becoming an emperor for you wow four of pentacles like you're all mine Ooh, queen of swords king of swords Ew, who is this person okay there's a bit of coldness between you and this person but they feel like maybe they have ownership over you or I don't want to say ownership maybe that's too harsh like this person feels like they they uh, should have like first dibs or <laughs> like no Aries is mine that's my boo that's my baby Aries is mine like th that's how this person is thinking or feeling okay <laughs> 
Show me this Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, please, for Aries this week. Empress. Emperor and Empress. The cards are matching up. We just got King and Queen of Swords, Emperor and Empress. Now, some of you, you could have been married to this person. Or you could have been in a long-term relationship with this person. Maybe things fell off between you and this person. And, uh, yeah. This person still feels like a strong pull to you. We also had the High Priest and High Priestess. That was another matching uh, card there. The Moon. Okay. Do you know how this person feels about you? There's mystery surrounding this. The moon, the four of cups. There was some type of rejection here between you and this person. Or there has been. Yeah, how is Aries feeling about this person or this situation? Page of cups. Some of you may share children with this person. For some of you, for my Aries parents. But... There's a small cup here, okay? How are you feeling? Justice, okay? Libra's energy is here. How is Aries feeling? The world card. So you may have felt like the right thing to do was to complete this cycle. Um, Your cup is very small for this person. Show me a little bit more about Aries' feelings toward this person. Five of Pentacles, yeah. You kind of feel like this was a like a misfortunate situation like or, or unfortunate rather I'm sorry um with the five of pentacles like something was just unfortunate like maybe unfortunately something just ended or it dissolved or it you know kind of fizzled out queen of cups yeah when it comes to emotions it's like you did love this person at one point but some, something happened here ah five of swords now you're defensive now you're defensive when it comes to this person. So that's why your cup has decreased. You used to have the Queen of Cups energy and now that first card that came out was Page of Cups. So your energy has decreased over time for this person. Show me Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. This person's intentions with Aries this week. Eight of Cups, a bit of longing here longing yeah ace of cups wanting to come back or you know wanting to restart something thinking of you could be a long lost lover six of pentacles possibly wanting equal give and take reciprocity could be a capricorn for some of you with the devil energy eight of swords okay that's a bit of obsession there someone having obsessive thoughts could be fears as well Ever since something ended, Four of Swords, there's been a break, a pause, some type of ending here. Seven of Wands. Okay, so they see you as having your guard up here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. They could be willing to put in the work or the effort to get this back or to get it back on track. They're, they could be a bit of waiting for you to not be angry or not be upset with them anymore. Yeah, show me what else is going on here. The Nine of Wands is here. Magician, could be a Gemini. They are yet holding on. They're yet holding on the sun, hope, hoping that the sun will come out between the two of you. Hoping for better days, happier days between the two of you. Could be a Cancer for some of you or a Leo. Um, the Chariot is here. <sighs> hoping to move this forward. Yeah, so the two of you can have a future together, will of fortune. It's like I'm manifesting this in the future. I'm hoping that we can have a future together. Two of wands, this person is planning. Okay, Aries, potential outcome this week. Potential outcome this week. The tower, kaboom, Scorpio's energy is here. Ace of pentacles, something is going to be shocking. A big shocking offer. Coming in, six of wands. Um, it's almost like this person may may ignore, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, they may even ignore the fact that you don't really want to be in a relationship with them or you don't really want to restart anything. They may ignore how defensive you are against them and try to come in anyway is what I'm seeing. Yeah, six of wands. Now we have knight of cups. Here comes the offer. 
with that Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. This is what I want, Aries, Nine of Cups. I desire you. Oh, we pulled two. The star could be an Aquarius with the Two of Wands. Ooh, they see everything with you. You're this person's wish. Okay, you're their wish. Yeah, Page of Swords, definitely watching you, spying, observing you. They could be wondering who you may be entertaining as well. Yeah, what is the advice for Aries this week? Advice for Aries, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit? Don't stop, okay? The, when this card comes out, it hardly comes out. But when it does, it's such a strong message of if you are already moving on from this person, don't stop. Don't look back. Sometimes things break up for a reason or sometimes things dissolve for a reason. So whatever you're doing right now, if you're focused on your career or, you know, your kids or you know, your family, whatever you're doing, school, work, whatever you're doing, don't stop your plans for this person unless you really feel it's worth it. Of course, tarot is just a guide, but spirit is saying don't stop because you have abundance coming in. Some of you, you may be getting a, a shocking surprise of money as well with the energy of the tower and the ace of pentacles. So look out for that. Some people may see you being victorious this week, six of wands, seeing you get recognition and then here come the offers of people wanting to date you, nine of cups, nine of cups, people wanting to take you out for drinks. You know, all of a sudden, like everyone wants to talk to you or date you. You're everyone's wish, the star with the two of wands. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, which way do you go? Yeah, so don't stop Aries, don't stop what you're doing. Alrighty, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.